What's up everybody, this is Animal Study, back with another video. And today is going to be a really long video because I officially got everything for the bioactive enclosure. So I think what we're going to do is I made some extra room in my room so I can place this stuff down. We're going to mix the soil, take Spike out of this tank, take everything out of this tank. Then we got to get rid of all his current bedding. It's going to be a long video guys, so stick with me on this one. First thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all the bedding in this enclosure. Like take everything out and stuff like that. And then we'll get down to the garage and mix everything. And I forgot to say, we do not have one plant, so we're gonna put that in a little bit later. So yeah, let's get to it. Spike in there, and I just need to find a way to give him some heat. So what I'm thinking of doing is, yes, that's my solid drawer, sorry about that, as um, getting one of his heat bulbs, the small one, and putting it somewhere. Don't wanna put it on the plastic, cause it'll melt. Don't wanna put it on there, cause it'll melt. So I think maybe we can do that. Keep it like that for now. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. And then we're just gonna empty out his cage. So, pretty easy. You just grab things. And just probably lay down a towel. All emptied out, just put everything on the floor. So now we just gotta empty all this out. There are a few crickets. So we're just gonna let Spike in there and clean them out. And yes, we did actually get a lot done and barely yeah, as much as we could. Spike is freaking out. Uh, I think I don't think he knows what's happening though. But yes, it was all a mess. Now we're just gonna wipe down a thing with this wipeout stuff. Just gonna spray whatever spray the bottom. I actually already did that. I'm just gonna spray the wall. Spike is kind of flipping out a bit, but it's, he's gonna like his new tank. We wiped it all down. I'm just gonna have to go make the soil. So it's gonna be a lot of soil and not so much. So we got the bucket, um, and it's pretty clean in there. Still a little bit of dirt, but nothing wrong there. And we got this top soil. We use a whole bag just in case. You guys know that I'm like that. So cut that top soil open. Ooh, sheesh! I right, also like some pretty good topsoil. I don't know what about topsoil. Nice and moist in there. It's pretty good, guys. Nice and moist. Alright, there we go. Now, I remember when he said a whole lot of topsoil. Oh, God, not a lot of sand. So, there's the topsoil. Now we need this premium play sand that is 50 pounds. Yeah. Oh. Make sure. no. Put too much in there. If I do, this whole project is ruined. Well, not really. Well, maybe yeah, I kind of. I'm going to have to put it in there, but that would not be that good. That's an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Seems like enough. It's a little dab of sand right there. Not a little bit. It's not a lot. Final of the sand and the soil mixture. Um, see, you do find some patches of really good sand. But 80% soil and 20% sand. So let's go up there and put the ratio. In. Sorry about that voice crack. A little tired. Um, had a skate this morning. Oh, we got the ratio. I'm just gonna take the shovel and put it in there. Hopefully, be between a few inches. Um, get back to you after oh, that. Dump the whole thing in there, and it's legit perfect ratio. And I really love this um, topsoil play sand mix. It is just a really good mix. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit more. Get try to get it corners all even out, which right now they are. How comes the fun part is um decorating and putting plants in. So let's go down back to the garage and we got some more plants and stuff to decorate and then we will put in Spike and the cleanup. All right guys, we got all the decorations. We got two mint plants, might be getting a rosemary soon. LED light for the plants. Some leaf litter that we have to put in and a branch. Put in the leaf litter real quick. Well mixed to the leaf litter and we're just gonna put in the decorations. And then we can put in 
uh, I'll go get the um, isopods, and then we'll put in spike. Cool about this light is actually that it has a sunset and um, sunset and sunrise mode, so it will look really pretty in here during the morning and the evening. So now I'm gonna just wipe that off and put in the LED light and type it into the plants. This is gonna be definitely a top 10 enclosure in my opinion, probably. But again, the other ones are probably humongous. This really cool LED light, I have to hit the 24 hour mode at the time I want it to turn on, which is at 6 a.m. Or no, it's around there, yeah, 6 a.m. I guess. And I'll, when, and I'll give it like maybe 30 minutes until spikes turns on. So for now, we are just going to hit the on. So just gonna wait for it to get to a white. And it's already past white. So we're just gonna look down here. Oh, that's it right there. So there, we're just gonna leave it like that for a little bit. A um. I'm probably gonna fill this up and just soak this down just a little bit just like that. Just to really soak up over here too. And at 6 a.m. I'll turn it to 24 hour mode. So we'll do that. Right, the light actually set for 8 a.m. So I'm gonna redo the alarm for 8 a.m. and have Spike's tank like turn off at turn on at like maybe like 8, 10, 8, 20, 8, 30. Just so we can um just so it will have a little bit of sunset and it'll turn off um, before, after sun, I meant sunrise and sunset. I'm getting my words mixed up. So, some nice light soak. Let me see. Okay, but I'm gonna see if I can, if I spin this little spray. That won't spray, hold on. So I'm trying to get it to spray. So I feel like that would be better. There we go, there's the mist. So we're just gonna do this tomorrow morning too. So we're really gonna mist, see it's mist. We're really just gonna mist this, cool, your cool side up. And you're gonna just wipe down like that. So again, mist. Cool side should be pretty damp. Not really damp, by the way, guys. Um, if you're gonna do this project, make sure you're not afraid of getting your hands dirty. So we're gonna do that. Um, now. We are going to put in water dish, which I'm actually going to take pieces of dirt off. For some reason, there's pieces of dirt on it, which they should not be there. We're really not trying to ruin this tank already. So let me wash this water dish out real okay, quick. I'll set up something you want to know is you take a look under here, it's nice and moist. You probably don't know that, but you want to get it nice and moist to create pockets for the isopods. Um, and I'm just going to put some logs or something, and we're currently going to still use that. But we also have this exoterra thing. So I'm thinking I might put this some, like, I might actually, hold up, that's a wrong idea right there, Brandon. I'm going to put this in its usual spot, just because of how used he is with it, so you can't really do anything about that so I'm gonna go wash this little looks like before we place the plants in there and we're gonna I think we're gonna put a mint plant in the back over there and place a mint plant maybe around here by that rock guys this is what it looks like so far started to put this bigger sized plant over here which I still need to cover up a little bit and it's more wider like that's taller that's wider over here in that corner that one might die soon. That one, I think it looks pretty fine. Let me just put some more soil back here. So I actually should grab a chunk over here because I'll just pat that down just like that. There we go. This is what it looks like. Now we're just gonna put in the big dog himself and the isopods. Let me go get the isopods. The dwarf purple isopods. I don't need much because it's a smaller enclosure. I'm just gonna dump them in just like that. And you can see them go off into the day. Now I'm just going to mix that around. Oops, I don't want them on my finger. So I'm going to give it maybe like 10 minutes. And we will 
hopefully they are out of there by now. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're burrowing up and around. Okay, I'll see you guys after that. First part of this project, the cleanup. Which, it should be a pretty easy going cleanup. Should not be too hard. I still have this calcium dish I need to get do something with. I'm clean that up a little bit. And I'll see you guys after cleanup. All right, guys, room's back to normal. Still got Spike in his little bin. Um, And we are having a final review of the tank. Um, Obviously, I really love this tank. Definitely, if I could have gotten more products, it would have been a better tank. Obviously, that's pretty self-explanatory right there. Um, got a bunch of stuff down there. I don't know how to have a Z-Bar wrapper in there. But we do. Bed's back to normal. Close up, as usual. Got his LED. And that plant, I have a feeling that plant is going to die. And if it starts to die, I will put it under a LED. Well, this is really fun. And now i got to do even more fun. And put Spike in his new habitat. It's been about a good hour since he's been in the heated enclosure. Just gonna pet him up a little bit. Until he's kind of mad. Oh, he is puffing up. It's all right, we're putting you back. Where's another really puffing up that big? Put him right under that heat light. And he is gonna love this enclosure. So we put him right under that heat light. Um, Now he's got two basking areas and doesn't have to use his hide as a basking spot, which I have a feeling if he likes it, he he might like it, he might dislike it. I don't know. That's it for a video. We'll be going into more depth of the bioactive enclosure. Yes, even more depth than this somehow. Go over why I chose everything and why I put it there in another video. And then I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.